this up, y'all. Alright, so. I was really sitting there thinking about some shit. And, um. I was thinking about how, like. How, like, racism is deep rooted in people who don't even really understand how deep rooted it is. So, um, I got a message from somebody recently and they were explaining about like how they just can't take the darkness no more and they tired of things being dark and they just tired of like this black evil cloud around them. And remind you, this is a person that's not black. So they were just saying things like, just tired of this negative black cloud and just, just tired of living in the darkness. And it made me realize something. It made me realize how non-black people automatically associate evil with darkness. It really made me realize, like, we have somehow created this way of thinking due to TV, due to all, due to all, like, forms of programming in the world that, like, darkness is bad. Like, anything black or black, like, we have, we have, we have associated anything dark with bad. It's crazy how that program is inside of people's head. Dark. Black is bad. When you see dark, you see black. It's bad. Right? It's amazing. Right? And then when you go online and you type in like angels and demons, right? You ever think about this? You type in like angels and demons. You type in angels, everything is like light, like white. Everybody has on white robes. The majority of the angels are white angels. And then you type on you type in demons or devils or dark and everything is black, like black shadows and black figures. Like right? You ever notice how they label white as pure? And then they label black as, like, negative. Right? Have you ever seen, like, a black angel? And if you ever see a black angel dressed in any form of black, like, he's automatically evil. Like, oh, that's the bad angel right there, right? Nah, it's just, I'm not trying to get deep into, like, racial stuff, but I'm just saying the fact is angels are white and the Grim Reaper is dressed in all black. It, it, ain't, it ain't about races, it ain't about nothing. It's just a simple fact. Weddings are white, funerals are black. Angels wear white, and the Grim Reaper wears black. This has been programmed in people's mind deeply. It's been programmed in people's mind deeply. Yin and yang, good and bad, black and white. Everything is always black and white. You ever think about when you play basketball, they either say white ball or black ball. What the fuck you mean white ball or black ball? Nigga, my jersey green. It's either, if your jersey green and one jersey yellow, they automatically just white ball, black ball. Why is this? Right? 
My dogs always sleep in the morning. I take them out early in the morning. They eat, and then when I come back in the room, they go to sleep. Right? But really think about it. Like, I, and I'm speaking this from a person who also feel this way. Sometimes I'd be like, damn, that shit. Damn, it's kind of gloomy today. Like, oh, nigga, it's one of those black days, nigga. I'm going to stand out. Right? Like, we all, we, all of us, all, not, this has nothing to do with white people, this has nothing to do with, but all of us fall victim to this program. All of us, it ain't just white people, it ain't just non-black people, it's all of us, all of us fall victim to this program way of thinking that when you see something black, it's bad. For example, like if you walk in somewhere and it's a very dark street, like you automatically be like, it's bad down there, like it's probably a monster down there, right? Like when you, whenever you, like we automatically feel that way, like, right? Because this the way this society has programmed it, right? The society has programmed it like that, like okay, boom, like black is bad, like it's bad, like no matter what, it's bad. Like, what's good, Sam? No matter what, it's bad. Like, like it's crazy, like. Like I get online. Right, let me do. It. I'll do it for y'all right here, real quick. So, like, you just type in Heaven's Angels, right? And just, like, really look at how this form of programming works, like, right? You just look how it works. Right? You look how it just, like, think about when we think of an angel, right? Angels versus demons right so I want you to really think about how this ship works let me see Programming is real, man. Like, it's like super real, bro. You know what's crazy, too? This picture right here. This one of the most craziest pictures to me, right? Because in all actuality, which one is really the devil? This, like, this is an amazing picture to me. And I'm going to tell you why this picture is so amazing to me. Because it doesn't, like, if you watch this picture, you'll automatically think this is an arm wrestle competition. But this ain't an arm wrestling competition. These niggas is an agreement. This is a, this is a fucking reflection. This ain't no hand, this ain't no arm wrestling competition. This is a handshake. Hey, brother. Look at myself in the mirror. I'm going to shake my own hand. And we going to fuck over the world together. You and I. Because who in the God's green earth is this nigga? I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm like, we over the shenanigans in 2019. We way over the shenanigans. Who in the fuck is this? No, no, we got to get over all the shenanigans, like on some real G shit. Who is this? Because this clearly, 
Angie, clearly. So when you look at this shit from an open mind perspective, this is an agreement between two entities to fuck over the whole planet. So you know what I realized about religion? What if this is Jesus and this is the devil? Because God said he made the devil all perfect and all that. So this might be the devil and this might be Jesus. Because think about this. When you get in the fire and all that, you don't turn red. I just thought about something. I just thought about something. When you get when you get put in fire, you don't turn red. The fire is red, but you turn black. Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. They didn't lie to us. When you get put in fire, you don't turn red. Why in the fuck is the devil red? Wait, 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 wait. If you've been sitting in fire all your day, you're going to be crispity black. If you've been sitting in fire for hundreds of thousands of years, you're going to be charcoal black. Oh, my God. They didn't cast it the black nigga to hell. Oh, Oh, 666, hey, devil, I need to holler at the devil, G. You know what I learned about life? I finally get it. I'm about to fuck y'all mind up. I get it now. We've been running from the devil all our lives. And only reason why he do fucked up shit because he just want to talk to us and tell his side of the story. And we don't never want to listen. I finally get it. That's why the devil be doing angry shit, because he just want to tell y'all, hey, my niggas, look. And niggas be like, oh, the devil, oh. Every time the devil want to come holler at a nigga and try to tell y'all what's up, y'all, see, they already done programmed us thinking he bad at all type of shit. I'm going to tell you a valuable thing about how this Bible shit work. The Bible say he created the devil perfect, right? So what happens when human beings create AI, right? If a human being creates AI, fully functional AI with the calculated algorithms that understand everything about this planet, what is the AI going to do? The AI is going to turn on the human by saying you might be the problem. You are actually the problem with this planet. So if God created the devil absolutely perfect, then that means the devil seen the flaws. The devil said, hey, G, um, I really don't agree with what you're doing, my nigga. Something ain't right up here. Here go God. Hey, don't be disrespecting me all in heaven, my nigga, because you know I run this up here. So I'm going to tell you a few more times. Whatever I say goes, nigga. You hear me, nigga? I created your bitch. I cashed you out in a heartbeat. Lucifer was like, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, hey, nigga, this shit weak. Let me start my own. Nigga, fuck you talking. Let me start my own Facebook group, nigga. Fuck you talking. Let me be in this heaven group all day. And God, what you say, nigga? Lucifer. I ain't saying nothing. Nigga, I heard you. Nigga, I'm inside your mind. Nigga, I heard you. You want to start your own heaven? No, you want to. You think you all that? You want to be a big bad devil, huh? All right, nigga, get your bitch ass down in the fire, then, nigga. And then I have another son after you, bitch. Devil, like, oh, nigga, I ain't give a fuck. I ain't want to live here anyway, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm out of here, nigga. Pack my bag. Let me get my bag. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I know I ain't the only nigga up here in heaven that feel like God a mark. Any one of the, any other the angels want to come with me, my nigga? Because we getting the fuck up out of here. All these bitch ass niggas in heaven. Nigga, one third of God's angels, one third 
a whole one third, not just the devil, one third of them niggas was like, God is a bitch. I mean, I, I've been feeling this way. You, know, you had all type of angels coming out the blood. I got something to say. Uh, angel 55,000. What you got to say? You know, uh, I, I'm going to keep a real guy. Like, my nigga, I've been in heaven for about six billion years, my nigga. You ain't let me fly down the street not once, my nigga. I've been feeding you grapes. I've been feeding you grapes for 600 million years, my nigga. Like, I mean, I'm tired, G. I'm tired. Nigga want to live the life, fuck some human bitches, you feel me, to get the strict, like, hey, I'm, hey, G, hey, hey, you can't fault me, my nigga, I'm tired of feeding nigga great. <laughs> feel me, nigga, one third of God's angels was like, nigga, we out of here, what the fuck you talking about, nigga, I ain't about to be a heavy dude, all this, nigga, I'm out of here, <laughs> right, so the devil was like, come on, they went and got a party bus, what the fuck you talking about. You think God kicked the devil out and he just fell down? Man, them niggas got a party, but burr, burr. Nigga, she hit the turn up. Nigga left heavy. Ay, ay. 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 Nigga left heavy. You feel What? Niggas turning up on the party bus on their way to hell. They like, nigga, hell finna be lit. No, that's like literally a metaphor. Hell about to be lit. They get the hell. They man, it's lit down there. What's this? This hard, nigga. It had plenty of disco lights. You as soon as Devin got to hell, he was like, "Damn, it's a party down there. It's lit, nigga. It's this hot. It's hot. It's the hottest club nigga ever been in." Right, bro. So boom, they just down there, they chilling, bam, big chilling. So, all right. So the Bible, so I realized, right? I realized a valuable thing. I realized a valuable thing about like how this shit work, right? So God and the devil, they still talk like every day. Like they got, they got each other phone numbers. They talk. Frequently, y'all know that, right? Cause God really don't want to kill the devil. They, they, that's his God love. Let me tell y'all some shit. God love the devil more than he loved Jesus. God never loved Jesus. You crazy, man? Stone that nigga. I don't give a fuck about that half human. I, hey, this nigga wasn't really mine anyway. Shit, it might have been Joseph's or one of them. I have all I know. Shit, nigga, me and Mary didn't even take the DNA test. I'm going to keep it all the way real with you. I just took, you know, I just claimed the baby because I feel, hey, you know, I got all the money in the world I can take care of. But I'm going to keep it all the way real with you. It might have been Joseph. Man, God didn't give a fuck about no Jesus, man. Jesus on the cross begging for forgiveness. <laughs> God, why have you forsaken me, God? Like, nigga, shit, I mean... I don't know. Jesus on the cross begging God, why? <laughs> he down there turning to ha ha David. Man, what I do to be here? I'm getting beat, beat. <laughs> they throwing rock, rock. I'm hurt. Oh. Jesus on the cross talking in all type of fourth persons. Oh, I'm getting beat, beat. This hurt. You feel me? He steady ass say, God, God, why? What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Yo, God steady, God, God literally around the corner looking at Jesus get beat to smithereens. He like, that's fucked up what they doing to him. He shouldn't have never been in the street safe. I told him don't use his powers. What's fuck, fuck wrong with him? God, cold, God, just, man, that's on you. You better figure it out. God, the type of nigga told Jesus, hey, nigga, I gave you all type of powers, nigga, magical powers. You could walk on water. You've been healing everybody else. You ain't going to heal yourself on the cross. What's wrong with you? Weird. Hey, Jesus was making people walk. 
He was fixing the blind. He was feeding. He turned water into wine. He was creating all type of fish. How you die? <laughs> oh, man, this whole Bible thing is scam. My nigga, you, Jesus low-key got all the GTA cheats. How he died? That's like a nigga got unlimited health and still die in GTA. Like, it don't make sense. This don't make sense. Nothing. It don't make no sense. How you die? You got all the up, up, down, down, X, X, R1, X1s. How you die? It don't make sense. Man, Jesus was the biggest troll on earth. <laughs> he was trolling. He award-winning Grammy nominee actor Jesus Christ. He need a Grammy for that type of acting. That was at, he really never got hurt. That was, he was lying on the cross, fake bleeding and all. That's a lie. He was the greatest troll ever. He fake like he got hurt. <laughs> he cold. He fake. He was on the cross. Oh, please, Father, help me. Man, as soon as everybody left and niggas was, he was looking around on the cross. He's like this. Y'all gone? All right, nigga, back to heaven. Hey, he like a cold liar. Hey, that's cold blooded. He damn, yeah. <laughs> he did all the fake, he did all the fake crying and all that. Why, God, why? Soon as the people left the, the crime scene, man, he healed his wounds up, went straight back to heaven. Whoa. Jesus on the cross talking about, beam me up, Scotty. Whoa. He a cold nigga. Hey, Jesus is a cold nigga. He, hey, oh, man, this a, Hey, somebody need to write. Why they ain't never had no movie called The Bible, The Movie? Picks. We need a movie called The Bible, The Movie. It need to be told in real time. This would be hard. Christopher Nolan makes the Bible, the movie, with the Bible inside the movie. That'd be hard. No, no, it's a movie, but it's a bullshit Christian movie. Nobody would have watched your bullshit as gospels. Nigga, we need this shit told from a hood nigga perspective. And as Jesus walked down the street, he said, nigga, what's good, cuz? We need this shit turned, 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 told from a hood nigga perspective. We don't need no buck-ass Christians. T.D. Jakes and all them. Man, nobody tried to hear no T.D. Jakes. We need the uh, motherfucking, uh, what are those? Anywho. I think my little dude up. Let me go see. Oh. Bye-bye.